Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion, exercise 7a, questions 17 to 22, found on page number 97. Question 17. Two poles of different lengths are standing vertically on a horizontal field at a particular time. The ratio between the lengths of their shadows is 2 is to 3. So this is the ratio at a particular time. If the height of the smaller pole is 7.5 meters, find the height of the other pole. So let's start by writing the ratio first. That will be 2 is to 3. The heights of the two poles be 2x is to 3x. The height of the smaller pole is already given to us. It is 7.5 meters. So 2x, which we have considered to be the height of the smaller pole, should be equal to 7.5 meters. So 2x equals 7.5 meters. So to find x, I will leave 7.5 on the right hand side as it is. Now from the left, I will move 2 to the right hand side. Because it's multiplication, it becomes division. So let's divide 7.5 by 2. 2 3s are 6 minus 1. I bring down 5, 15. Now here I have a point which I'm going to carry up to the same place. I have 15. 2 7s are 14 minus 1. I can continue my division. Since I already have a decimal point in my dividend, I can add any number of zeros to the right. Now that I have added one zero, I'm going to bring that zero down. Now my number is 10. Two fives are 10. So we have finished with our division. We have found the value of x to be 3.75. Now we can find the value of the height of the other pole. The height of the other pole, we have assumed it to be 3x. So let's continue with that. So 3x is the height of the other pole, which means 3 into x. And we have found x to be 3.75. So 3 into 3.75. Let's do this multiplication. Let's multiply 3.75 into 3. When we multiply decimal numbers, let's ignore the point and multiply. 3 fives are 15, carry 1. 3 sevens are 21, plus 1, 22. Carry 2, 3 threes are 9, 10, 11. Now let's put the point back. In the question, there are two decimal places. So our answer also should have two decimal places. So what is the answer? The height of the other pole is 11.5. 25 meters. So we found the answer. The height of the other pole is 11.25 meters. Question 18. Two numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 7. If the LCM is 168, find the numbers. Okay, let the two numbers be 4x and 7x. Let the two numbers be 4x and 7x. LCM of 4x and 7x will be 4 into 7, this is 7, into x. This is how we find the LCM of two numbers, 4 into 7 into x. 4 7s are 28 and this is x, 28x. But given to us is the LCM 168. Using this and this, we can find the value of x. So 28x is equal to 168. Therefore, x is equal to 168 divided by 28. Let's do that division. Let's divide 168 by 28. Now, 28 into 6. Let's try that. 6 eights are 48, carry 4. 6 twos are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, 28 into 6 is 168. 68. So we have found the value of x to be 6. Now we have to find the numbers. So the first number, what is the first number? We have written it as 4x, which is 4 into x. That is 4 into, what is the value of x? 
we have found out the value of x to be 6. So 4 into 6, which is 24. 4, 6 are 24. Now, the second number. The second number, according to what we have taken, is 7x. That means 7 into x, which is equal to 7 into x is 6. 7 6 is a 42. So we have found the two numbers. The first number is 24 and the second number is 42. Next question. Rupees 300 is divided between A and B in such a way that A gets half of B. Now we need to find the ratio between the shares of A and B. The shares of A and B. Let's start. What is the amount that's divided between A and B? It's 300 rupees. A gets half of B. Okay, the question says that, that A gets half of B. That means the ratio between the two numbers A and B is 1 is to 2. Now we need to find the share of A and B. Okay, now that we know the ratio, we can find the share of A and B. The sum of the ratios will be 1 plus 2, which is 3. Therefore, the share of A will be 1 by 3 into 300 rupees. 1 by 3 into 300. Now let's multiply. We can cancel. 3 ones are 3 and 3 hundreds are 300. Now let's multiply. 1 into 100 is 100. That means the share of A is 100 rupees. Now let's find the share of B. B is according to the ratio 2 and the sum of the ratios is 3. 2 by 3 into the amount that's divided, that is 300 rupees. Now let's cancel again. 3 ones are 3 and 3 into 100 is 300. Now let's multiply. 2 into 100 is 200 by 1, which is 200. So the share of B is 200 rupees. So A gets 100 rupees. This is the share of A. And the share of B is 200 rupees. You can check your answer by adding 100 and 200 to see if you get the amount that is divided between the two, which is 300 rupees. Question 20. The ratio between two numbers is 5 is to 9. Find the numbers if the HCF is 16. So let the two numbers be 5x and 9x depending on their ratios, 9x. Now, the HCF of 5x and 9x, HCF means what? Highest common factor. So the highest common factor to 5x and 9x is, now suppose I take 5x and 9x as a fraction. If I have to divide these two by their common factor, which one will I take? Which is common to them? What is common to them is x. So x is the highest common factor. And we are given that, so x is the highest common factor, but we are given that HCF is 16. That means x is equal to 16. Now we can find our numbers. The first number is 5x, that means 5 into x, which we have found out 5 into this number, 16. So let's find out the value of 16 into 5. 5, 6 are 30, carry 3, 5, 1s are 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 into 16 is 80. So that's our first number. Now our second number will be 9x according to the ratio in the beginning. So 9 into x. So that means 9 into and how much is x? 16. So let's multiply 16 into 9. 
Nine six are fifty four. Carry five. Nine ones are nine. Plus five is fourteen. That is one hundred and forty four. So our second number is one hundred and forty four. So we've got our answers. First number is eighty, and the second number is one hundred and forty four. Question twenty one. A bag contains one thousand six hundred rupees in the form of ten rupees and twenty rupee notes. If the ratio between the numbers of ten rupee and twenty rupee notes is two is to three, find the total number of notes in all. Okay. Amount a bag contains. A bag contains one thousand six hundred rupees. The ratio between the number of ten rupee notes and twenty rupee notes, the ratio is given in the question, is two is to three. Let the number of ten rupee notes and twenty rupee notes be two x and three x. So two x will be for ten rupees, and three x will be twenty rupees. Now, amount of ten rupee notes. Is two x into ten, so that will be twenty x ten rupee notes. Amount of twenty rupee notes will be three x into twenty, so that will be twenty three is a sixty sixty x. So let's find out x now. Okay, so 20x plus 60x is equal to 1,600 rupees. This is the amount. Okay, now 20 plus 60 is 80. 80x is equal to 1,600. Therefore, x is equal to 1,600 divided by 80. So let's do this division. Let's cancel what we can before that. Now let's divide 160 by 8. So 160 divided by 8 will be 8 twos are 16 minus 0. So here we take the 0 on top. So that means x is equal to how much? 20. X is equal to 20. Now we need to find the number of ten rupee notes and the number of twenty rupee notes. So we found x to be twenty. Now number of ten rupee notes will be two x, which is two into x, which is two into. We found out x to be twenty. So two into twenty is forty. So this is forty. So number of ten rupee notes we have forty. Number of twenty rupee notes we will have three x. That is three into x, which is three into x is equal to twenty. So twenty into three is sixty. So we have found the number of ten rupee notes and the number of twenty rupee notes, forty and sixty. Now we are asked to find the total number of notes. So we have to add up forty, that is the number of ten rupee notes, and sixty, which is the number of twenty rupee notes. Forty plus sixty is hundred. So the total number of notes in all is hundred. This is what we've been asked to find, and we have found that there are hundred notes in all. Question twenty-two. The ratios between the prices of a scooter and a refrigerator is four is to one. If the scooter costs forty-five thousand rupees more than the refrigerator, find the price of the refrigerator. The ratios between the prices of a scooter and refrigerator are given to us. That is four is to one. Let the price of the scooter be four x. Then the price of the refrigerator will be one x. Now, if the scooter costs forty-five thousand rupees more than the refrigerator, then four x minus one x is equal to forty-five thousand rupees. Okay, so we're going to solve this. Four x 
minus 1x is equal to 45,000 rupees. 4 minus 1 is 3, so 3x three is 45,000. Now x is equal to 45,000 divided by 3. So let's do that division. 45,000 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3 minus 15. 3 fives are 15. So I've got a zero here. So the remaining zeros I carried up and my answer here is 15,000. So the value of x is 15,000. Now let's find the price of the refrigerator. The price of the refrigerator is 1x, isn't it? So 1x means 1 into x, which is 1 into, how much is x? We just found out x here, 1 into 15,000, which is 15,000 itself. So the price of the refrigerator is rupees 15,000. The price of the refrigerator will be 15,000 rupees. So we've come to the end of all the sums in this exercise. We'll stop with that. Thank you, children.